Hey guys, today we'll be doing an oil change on a 2005 Chevy Cobalt. It has the 2.2 liter Ecotec engine. Now for that you'll need your choice of oil. Uh, this particular vehicle takes 5 quarts or 4.73 liters. You'll need a 15 millimeter wrench for your drain plug. You'll need a socket extension with a 32 millimeter or inch and a quarter socket for the oil filter housing your choice of oil filter and gloves if you want to play it safe so let's get started and I almost forgot you need an oil pan it's kind of a essential so the first step is we're going to crawl into the vehicle locate the oil pan so this is the oil pan just going to put this wrench on the drain plug. Usually the best way to get these loose is just to start by giving a little tap. It's on there pretty tight. So now we can take the wrench off because it's pretty loose. Bring your oil pan under. Now that that's draining, we'll move on to replacing the oil filter. So next we have to locate where the oil filter is, which involves taking off this cap. Set that down here. Just pull up down here. And pull up over here. And this will come right off. We'll set that down. And then if you look right below where you took off your oil cap, right here is the housing that holds your oil filter. So go ahead and take our socket or ratchet with our 13 millimeter socket. Go ahead and put that on. Might require two hands. Yeah. Go ahead and crack that, and then we'll go ahead and take that off. Now when you got that unscrewed, you can go ahead and do it the rest of the way and pull it right out. There's your oil filter. So now when you got this out, we just got to pull, and it'll come right out. Grab your new oil filter. I know everyone's gonna be like, oh no, Fram. Well, this is the ultra synthetic. It's not the original orange can of death. Plus, looks pretty good compared to the other one that was in it. So you take your cap, the tip goes down, push it. You'll hear it snap in. Now, we're gonna replace that O-ring on the housing right here. So you want to get yourself a little pick here and go ahead and work that filter, that oil ring, uh, I mean that O-ring off of there. It's would have been smarter to do before I installed the oil filter. Just got that one off. Let's take the new one. Comes with your oil filter. And go ahead and put that on. It's on there. Uh, you can use the oil that's seated around this cap and just make sure it's nice and lubed up. And we'll go ahead and install it. So now let's take the oil filter, put it back. And the housing down here, started by hand so it doesn't cross thread. Once that's in, you take your socket and torque that down. A 
once that's snug, snug just a little turn just like that don't try to over torque it you'll break it it's not going to come loose so that's yeah, good to go now we just got to reinstall the drain plug now before you reinstall your drain plug you want to clean it up clean the surface there and clean the threads I'm going to go ahead and install this because you don't really need to see that now that the oil drain plug is back installed uh, you can take a funnel if you want insert it in the oil fill take your oil Now fill that right up. Like I said, it's 4.73 liters or 5 quarts for this engine. Now when you're done filling it, you can go ahead and remove your funnel. Take your plastic cover. Install there and there. Go ahead and reinstall your cap. That's a good place to find your oil viscosity. And now, drive it off the ramps. Uh, let it run for a minute, shut it off, wait about five minutes, check your level, and if it's good, you're done. So any guys want to know how to do the oil life reset, you're gonna toggle through with this button until you get to your oil life. And then you're gonna hold both release it. It says oil life reset. You're going to go ahead and push that button and release it. Acknowledged. So it's back to 100%. So you're done that part.